Disney Parks cast members of Reddit, what's the strangest thing a child has asked you all on the job? Yesterday I went to Disneyland. And I saw the parade. And it was raining during the parade. And everyone was wearing raincoats. And the Little Mermaid was in the parade. And she was wearing a raincoat too. Why? Well, because everyone else was wearing a raincoat, Ariel wanted to wear one too so she could be like everybody else. My castmate friend in the call center that took the call above. My daughter was two to three when we went to go see Elsa and Anna. A four-hour line, of which my daughter would shuffle forward whenever it would move and then lie down and sleep on the floor when it didn't. Finally, it was our turn. We walk into the room and there's Elsa and Anna. First question my daughter asks them? Do you brush your teeth? Then after the thing was done and we're leaving, my daughter casually tells me that that wasn't really Elsa and Anna, the real ones were probably busy. Four hours man. Why do you work here? Kid made me think very deep and I don't even know why. Where do you and Mrs. Goofy have sex? Not a child but a mother with her two kids in tow, how do they work? Are they animatronic or do you have a remote control? Talking about the live wild manatees. She threatened a lawsuit on Disney for endangering her kids. Near manatees. The gentlest of sea creatures. Giant slow-moving potatoes. Edit, this was for a kayaking trip off-site. The Disney cast members shuttle the guests in a bus to our location about 30 minutes away. I don't work for Disney directly I run a kayaking business that Disney subcontracts for their kayaking trips. Where's Hogwarts? Probably about half a day's walk away. Dash dash dash, adult, you work during the holidays? Me, yes. Adult, muttering as he walks away, I don't believe her. It's probably a trick to get tips. It was during Christmas. He was literally there on Christmas. So, former bus driver here, the strangest question I was ever asked is, where do the bus drivers sleep at night? He thought we had houses in the parks and we could choose which one. Best question I've ever been asked was from an adult, and me and the wife still joke about it to this day. I had an uncomfortable stomach that day and I was quite gassy. Thankfully most of them seemed to be silent. On buses, you hear and smell all sorts of things, candy, kids screaming, the guy who hasn't bathed all trip, etc etc. Well the time came for me to let one rip so I sank down deep in my seat and tried to bury one as best as I could. What came out of me was the most foul-smelling thing ever released from mankind. Thankfully, again, it was silent. I hoped to God that no one would notice and just attribute it to another bus smell but about 30 seconds after the deed was done, the gentleman standing at the front of the bus pushes his stroller aside, leans forward and says, Did you just beep yourself? Hands down funniest thing I've ever had happen while working there. Kids usually never asked weird questions. It's always the parent who asks the weird things like, Where can I buy Lumpy? And A. I'm sorry I didn't know this obscure Winnie the Pooh character and B. We don't have anything with Lumpy on it. Lady got mad. Others have already said it, but the adults are the ones who say the really crazy stuff. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff I'm forgetting, and plenty of minor WTF moments, but one that sticks out in my mind was working at Splash Mountain. The ride broke down and we see M spread out through the ride to go evacuate people. I get to my area to help, and there is a guy who is absolutely livid that it's not happening fast enough. He's trying to get out on his own, and I let him know that he needs to stay put and wait for the group. He was also in the heart of the ride building, that beep is like a maze. You find a door and walk out it and find yourself in beep Timbuktu. Starting an evacuation takes maybe 10 minutes or so to get rolling. Maybe 20 if we've tried to just restart the ride first, although usually we know right away if it's an evac. So it's a bit annoying, maybe, at the most, but you would think it was the end of the world for this guy. He's ranting and yelling, and I'm trying to calmly tell him to stay seated until we get to his log. We get the guests out of the logs behind him, Sop is to start with the back log in the section and work your way towards the first, and when we get to his log, he starts ranting about how he pissed his pants in the meantime, gesturing at a wet spot on his crotch. The guests in the log behind him, however, who were very visibly sick of this guy, leaned in and said, he absolutely did not pee his pants, we saw him splash the water on himself to make it look like he did. The guy was such a dick that strangers around him were selling him out, lol. We did manage to finally get everyone out, 
and I absolutely did not give him anything to placate him like I would any other guest that's had something go wrong, other than the free fast pass that we had to give him, because everyone gets one. Enjoy walking around the park with your wet crotch, buddy. It's generally not the kids that ask weird things, it's the adults. I think a better question would be, what's the most outrageous thing a guest has done? I've seen a week old baby in the park with their family. A family that was there for the mother's last trip, she had a terminal disease, had their camera stolen at the end of their last day in the parks. They saw the people that took it, and they had talked in a queue so the thieves knew the family's situation. People crossing between floats during the parades, a nice way to get permanently banned from the parks. But mostly, people think that because they paid for the ticket to come in they can't hear the word, no, when acting up or making a crazy request. I started two months ago and my job doesn't have much guest interaction. But I did have one kid who kept asking me where characters were. He asked where Bugs Bunny and the rest of the Looney Tunes were and I blew his mind when I told them they work at Six Flags with Batman and Superman, not at Disney. The kids were always kind and the question they asked 98% of the time was where is the bathroom? The adults are the ones who forget how to act like normal, decent people. I had more than a handful of full-grown adults approach me while I was restocking stuff in the confectionery, they'd point to the stuff in my hands I was actively putting up and, being 100% serious, ask me, is that free? Worse though was on my first day working Main Street in MK. Rope drop had only just happened and I already had a dad in my face demanded to know where the adult beverages were, mind you this was in 2017 when MK was still a dry park. When I informed him of that, he lost it on me, screaming questions at me like how am I supposed to deal with my kids all day? Had I been off the clock, I would have responded with therapy. I was a bus driver, so it wasn't the kids but the adults. They'd see the turn signals come on, but not me taking my hands off the steering wheel. They'd ask how I was turning them on. Magic. For those of you who don't know, there are two foot buttons on the floor you push with your left foot. Once in Tokyo Disneyland I asked a staff, how's your day been going? He immediately went somewhere and brought a jar of pickle with him and gave it to me. I was confused so I asked him. He told me it's a tradition in Disneyland that when someone asks you, how's your day been going? They give them a free jar of pickle. People who work in Disneyland er confirm if it's true cause I never found it on the internet. Not a cast member, but did have a little kid ask me if I was his dad in front of Thunder Mountain. He decided that my husband and I were his new parents so he sat down between us and asked if he could have bite of my husband's Mickey pretzel. My husband distracted him with the Mickey pretzel while I grabbed a cast member to claim a lost child. Cast member told the kid that he knew where his real parents were at. Poor kid started crying that he didn't listen to his mom by not having a hand on the stroller and running ahead of his family. If Goofy is a dog, why does he have a pet dog himself? When I was around three or four, on a family trip to Disney World I drew a picture of my plane crashing on the way to Orlando and my entire family falling to a fiery death, then gave it to Mickey Mouse. I wonder what the dude inside the costume thought. Why does that elephant have five legs? Here to see Walt Disney mess up some snitches. Kid asked me for a high five, so I put my hand out to do it. They then went to do the slap, stopped, glared at me, and walked away. Kid couldn't have been older than eight. Had several guest members urinate on and in me. Why does this sandwich taste like mouse? Galaxy's Edge employees, do you ever see people cry tears of joy when they come to Star Wars land? May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.